Hey guys, welcome to the Build Guild podcast. We're a professionally unprofessional podcast for makers. I and thought your name was Ben. I, 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 did I not say that? That is Ben. I am Ben. And who are you? Special I, guest tonight. I don't know. <laughs> I was just out on the highway. I said, come on in. Just pulled him off the street. And said, hey, you want some water? Yeah. That's all it was. That's all I needed. Arkansas hospitality. Yeah. Ding, 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 ding. Get in here. Oh, yeah. dear. So we have John Godwin from Duck Dynasty with us today. Hello. Special Hello. guest. Mm-hmm. Maker extraordinaire mm-hmm. of duck calls. Duck calls. We want to know what it goes into making duck calls. What well, goes into making a Are duck Are you call. physically in the shop making a duck call? I am making duck calls. Um, you see that? Well, it's kind of. You see that callus you got? There's one that it's done baited, but you see that bruise mm-hmm. kind of like mm-hmm. in from jamming them things together? Okay. Because we got a test them to see if they're good now uh uh the phil's first duck call the dc 200 it was made out of wood so you have to take the soundboard and get a file and file it Mm. it's got to be a certain shape you know have a little belly in it Mm -hmm. for them reeds to vibrate Mm -hmm. you put the reed the reeds have got to be a certain length so you look at the sign you put the reeds on there and you see how long they are and then you jam it together and you test it and you say, no, that ain't it. You pull it apart and you sand it again or file it again. For every single in. one, you're you're doing this in the shop. Yeah, you, you got to make it. Because Phil said, don't sell it till you'll hunt with it. Oh, really? So that's what we do. Mm-hmm. So I guess every one of them's really, you know, special built. Okay. So everyone has had one of y'all's mouth on it. That's right. For- <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Quality I control. I yeah. ain't got nothing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll have to run a test after this one, make yeah. sure. But that's... Uh, I think that stuff will die after a week or two. Mm-hmm. Or okay. Yeah. You know, yeah. Sitting in a bin. So, you know, we charge 15% extra for the ones Jace built. You oh, know? yeah. Yeah. All right, and all you guys are still in the shop making them now, right? Yeah, no. <laughs> Not it's just you now. Yeah. Well, I don't build them. Actually, I've taken over the shipping department, and uh, Jay Stone married Alan's oldest daughter, mm-hmm. which is Phil's oldest son. Yeah. And uh, he was a coach, and when we started filming the show, he come in there to help us because we were, we were trying to do the show after work, and then it got so that we finally had to film all day and needed some help, so... They started out trying to do the show after a work day. Oh yeah, we had to work. Okay, you had to work first. We didn't, and then they would shoot the show, it. and then it it just got so slammed to where you had no choice but to do it all at once yeah. in the course of a day. Because yeah, wow. we would film till eleven, twelve o'clock at oh, night. Oh my gosh! Because <laughs> <laughs> we didn't start till right. You know, yeah, but it was. Were you wild. were you originally part of the filming? Uh, yeah. I was, you were, I was. you were, but Cy wasn't. R- really? Yeah, they wasn't going to do Cy. And <laughs> Willie said, I don't know, you might better hang around him for about 30 minutes and uh-huh. make you mind. Up. <laughs> <laughs> they went over there 30 minutes. They said, okay, yep, we, we get it. Yeah. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> huh. Yeah. So when you, how did you start with Duck Commander? Did you, you went to college? Start, start working there? No, yeah. I didn't go to college. Uh, I worked at a factory at a, a carton plant making uh, bear cartons, coke cartons, tied detergent boxes, shotguns. We used to make shotgun shell boxes, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. I, work, I run a printing press for 21 years. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. In in Louisiana? Or yep. You ran a printing press. Right. Okay. It run uh, eight colors. We'd run 820 feet a minute of paper through that thing. Okay. Pew, he I'd- was getting it. I did an internship at the printing press here in town for the university. It was a long time ago. But I have just a little bit of an idea of what, what managing was, a place like that must have been like. What kind of printing press was it? That, Newspaper? No, magazine? it's basically it's publications for the university here. And but it's the same principle. Is it? It's just yeah. ours have just been on a bigger scale. Okay. Yep. How about that? done that for 21 years. And, uh, man, it was... Uh, I had a friend. I used to ride bulls. I know I got a bull rider shape. 
But that, I saw you, and I was like, you know what? That guy looks like Lane yeah, Frost. I know. That's right. And uh, that Miss K did that to me. Mm, okay. Well, she said, no, you did it to you because you didn't back up from the table. Oh. But it's hard. <laughs> Her cooking is good, for real. And That's for real life. Too, good, both right? of them. Both yeah. of them excellent cook. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But anyway, one, he called me one day. I hadn't seen him in years. Me and him was pretty close, good friends, you know. And uh, one day he called me and asked me to come to church with him. And I'm like, I just busted out laughing. You weren't <laughs> a church-going guy at the time? No. Uh, oh, I didn't want to be around him holy road. <laughs> 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 no. I mean, because I thought he was joking, because mm. I knew what he'd done, because I was doing it with him. Oh, I got you, yeah. <laughs> no. He said he had a CD yeah. passed. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. But, yeah, and he just kept calling me, kept calling me, inviting me to church. And at the same time, my woman was saying, we need to straighten up. Mm. <laughs> you know, we just adopted a daughter. We neither one of us could have kids. Oh, really? And, uh, so I guess she was wanting us to straighten up, which I couldn't figure out. She had no trouble partying with me before. You yeah. Know? <laughs> And, uh, man, it was coming from both ways, which is kind of weird. And I, I kept telling him, no, I ain't going to church with you. No, no, no. He invited me over to his house one day, and uh, I went over there. It was on Sunday. He said, we're going to cook hamburgers. That's what got me, mm. my hamburgers. <laughs> it was on a Sunday, Sunday night, and um, it was house church. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, I was mad. <laughs> <laughs> and Phil was there doing the lesson. Yeah. And he kept wanting me to come in the middle, you know, come in the middle and and listen. They had we was out in the pasture and he had a fire going, chairs around. He oh, just it was a bonfire, dude. Yeah, though. come <laughs> come listen to the lesson. I'm okay. like, but his daddy was cooking the hamburgers, and that was one of my drinking buddies. So I went mm-hmm. up there. Okay. We're putting a beer in a cup to them church folks. Uh-huh. See. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, I left. I told him I'm mad. Well, this went on, and duck season was fixing to start. And Miss Paula, she's still nagging on me to straighten up. <laughs> and uh, so I got me an idea. I'm going to go to Tony's church, and she's going to be happy. But I'm going to see Phil there and get me a new duck call. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I did. Tony introduced me to Phil, and he said, bring him out to the house. And I went out there, and uh, he said, uh, what are you doing out here? You been messing up? I said, well, it was Phil. I didn't want to lie to him, you know. <laughs> I said, no. <laughs> <laughs> he said, yeah, you have. <laughs> and he started asking me things like, do you believe in God? And I'm like, well, you know, I guess there's a higher power, you know. And then he says, well, do you think you've sinned? And I just kind of looked at the ground, you know. Mm-hmm. He said, what'd you do Saturday night? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I said, yeah, I see. <laughs> there's he no said, doubt. Wow. He said, well, look. He said, there's a God. There is a God. And he loves us so much that he became flesh and came down here on this earth and run around with us for 33 years. Mm. So we would understand that he understood. Mm. He said, he died on the cross for you. Take care of all your sin problems, even the ones you did Saturday night. Uh. He said, wipe clean. He said, he wiped those clean on that cross if you get in him. He said, they put him in a tomb and buried him. And on the third day, he rose. And uh, he said, you'll become a new person. He said, because we got a sin problem as humans. We got a death problem as humans. He said, you are do believe you're going to die. Got a you? death problem. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah, said, yeah, we're going to die. He said, yeah, you're going six foot in the ground. He said, but I think people's trying to save money now, so it's only four. <laughs> 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 and then he said, uh, and we got a weakness problem. We're just human. But that's why he became flesh and come down here, because we can't do it by ourselves. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He said, that's the same thing we do at baptism is what he did for us. We repent, you know. He said, change your ways. Do what, you know, mess up, quit messing around with your bad friends, you know. Just try to be good. He said, you ever tried to be good? And I just thought about it for a minute. I said, no. I ain't never just tried to be good, you know. He said, me neither. Mm. He said, I never thought about it. Yeah. And 
man, I just, I'd never heard. He said, he said, so you do believe there's a God and you believe Jesus. So I said, I, I reckon. He said, well, what year is it? It was 1996 then. He said, it's 1996 A.D. Anno Domini, year of our Lord. We keep in time by him. Mm. Right. Mm. So if we keep in time by him, he must have been here. I said, boy, he was putting a lot. My, my head was about to explode. <laughs> and, um, he said, look, he said, go home, lock your door. He said, you probably got a Bible in the house somewhere. I said, yeah, I think I've seen one on the shelf somewhere. <laughs> He said, lock your doors so won't nobody see you and check out everything I've told you is true. Don't put your faith in me. Put your faith in God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He said, there is a way that everything you've done up to this point can be wiped clean. Clean slate. All you got to do is accept him. Obey the gospel. Just do reenact what he did for you. And I just, I ain't never heard that before. Mm. So I did. I went, and this is what got me. I went home and I found this passage in Luke, and um, the last last part of chapter twenty four, where they killed him. You know, he done killed him, and all his buddies have been running around with him. You know, them twelve disciples. They run up in this room and lock the door, mm. and uh, of course they're sad. Their best friend just died. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I'm sure they're praying. They're mourning. And he just appears in the room, and it spooked him, which it spooked me, too. <laughs> and I just watched yeah. my best friend die, That'd and then it. he just appeared right here. Uh -huh. I mean, they were spooked because they recognized who he was. Uh -huh. He still looked like him. Uh -huh. We're getting our bodies back when this is all over. Uh -huh. We ain't going to be some little old spirit on a cloud playing a harp. Okay. It's going to be pretty cool. And then he said something that really hit me hard, which I like a lot. He said, I'm hungry. Y'all got any fish? <laughs> mm. <laughs> fries in heaven. Yeah. So I'm in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what hooks you. That's what got me. I'm going to yeah. be me. You're going to be you. Gonna Our bodies are going to be changed. Mm. But not exchanged. Yeah. Okay. So, Man. So that's pretty cool. That'll preach. So that happened right away. Was it just like you went home just, that day? No, it was, no, it took me about a week. I, I, I you know, I'm a doubting Thomas. I had to, I had to, cause this stuff was pretty heavy. Oh, I yeah. never heard this yeah. stuff. All I ever heard was you gotta one, act this punch. way, act this way, act this <clears throat> way. You're going to hell. Yeah. yeah. There's freedom in Christ, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's pretty neat. It's pretty. So January the 21st. At one o'clock in the morning, Tony baptized me in the Christ. One in the morning. You wow. just took care of it right then. I had to get in it. Okay. That's it. Couldn't wait no more. Was All it right. in the river? No. Nah. Baptist. It was a church right down the road from the house, and we called them. They opened it up. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah that was pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> so I started going to church with them and uh, got to be friends with Alan and, uh, W. E. Phillips that now he lives here in Baltimore. Yeah. Uh he worked there and got to be friends with him and fishing with him, messing around. And Al invited me to go duck hunting. So I got to duck hunt with him. Were you big into hunting and fishing before oh, yeah. all that? Yeah. Yeah. I can remember oh man, I I remember, I'm fifty six years old and my fondest memory is Thanksgiving weekend. Waiting on daddy to come get me from school on that Friday because I knew we had to go to the deer camp all week. Mm -hmm. and man, he even before I was old enough, I mean, I was in elementary school, you know? Yeah. He Before I could even tow the gun, he'd come and he'd put me at the base of the tree and give me a big blanket to wrap up in. He'd get up in his ladder stand, drop stuff down when he'd see the deer. Nice. He'd try to see me. So I've always been, you know, he made it fun for me. Right. And that, I played a lot in where I'm at now, I guess. Yeah. Like one thing he did I don't like, and it was uh, he'd throw them fish, and we'd go fishing. He'd throw the fish in the ice chest with the Coke. And he had to drink him old slimy. Uh. <laughs> I hated that. Slimy Coke cans. <laughs> I didn't like it. Tastes weird. That's funny. But anyway, oh 
<clears throat> so we was off hunting in Texas, duck man seven, and Phil said, well, you about ready to quit that plan, ain't you? I was thinking to myself, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, I said, but you can't hire me. You can't afford me. Uh -huh. And uh, he said, you might as well come. W.E. just moved up here. He said, he's, uh, he's out, so you, you might as you well. You took his spot? Might as well ease in there. You've been doing stuff anyway. Yeah. So I'd go over on my days off, package duck calls, do this, do that. Hang out. Yeah. Yeah. Do that. So, man, but it was, I mean, who don't want to work for Duck Command? Yeah. Mm. But That's I had your a passion family. For sure. I had a new baby girl. And yeah. I, man, that plant was good money and good insurance mm. and, and all mm. that. And it was a lot to think about. For sure. And we talked to Alan, and Alan come up and talked, and we prayed. We prayed for about two weeks. I finally called him up, said, I want two weeks vacation. And <laughs> take that as my, yeah. as my deal, you know. Right, yeah. And, and uh, I went to work for him. I'll never forget that first Friday. I was sweeping the warehouse. Miss Kay come give me my check, and uh, she she gave me that check, and I went to grab it, and she wouldn't let me pull it. And she looked at me, and she said, don't cash that till Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow. No, no. Oh, Did I make boy. the right choice? Oh, man. <laughs> what am I going to tell you? Life, <clears throat> life throws you curveballs that you never man, expect. Yes, it does. For yeah. sure. I, I was working at a, the Bible bookstore in town. We just were, uh, we had our first child. We hadn't told anybody yet. I was the only one working. Molly was in school, and it burned to the ground that morning. <laughs> And I was like, well, I thought I thought my yeah. future was secure. And then across the street is what, the bug place I'm working at now. Yeah. Better oh. hours, better pay. He literally crossed the street <laughs> as the building the was front, burning. I was sitting and in the front grass. Yeah. Oh, the they back from lunch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I better go check on them. <laughs> God has a better plan than we think we do for Man. ourselves, for sure. Mm -hmm. We never would have thought all oh, this would have happened. Yeah. So tell, how does that, how did that Well, happen? we had a show, you know, uh, we have sponsors, Benelli Shotguns, and, oh. uh, Real Tree Clothing, you know, Camo Clothing and stuff like that. And uh, we were actually, we there, there's a show every January in Vegas that's the shot show yeah. where all the new stuff, you know, it's a dealer show. And um, we were actually, Willie was thinking about making a show at that time to put on the outdoor channel and mm. uh, you were they, all were y'all filming your own little cds we and dvds did right Phil, yeah they had started in 82 the uh, year making, I was a born. making a dvd <laughs> every year for walmart oh okay and um bash pro cabela's you know all the big box yeah. store academy and um uh, it was uh it was pretty so they'd been doing that for a long time and uh but nelly approached us and said hey we want to do a little show on the outdoor channel would y'all be interested and willie's like yeah well heck yeah we was actually thinking about doing that so mm -hmm. we done that for three years and i won the golden moose awards and all that for videography huh. and, and different things but uh and on those I, i'm not a hunter or a fisherman so on those shows where you just strictly hunting and fishing, we it wasn't the hunting. entertainment that we're used to, that I'm used to. Well, I, 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 I really don't know <clears throat> the entertainment part. We did hunt, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> we done that. A guy called, he actually called information. He kept emailing. Everybody thought it was a joke, you know. Gonna put you on big TV, all this, yeah. Uh -huh. right. uh -huh. And uh, he finally called. But somebody said, hey, I think this guy, you know, really wants to. So they got a meeting down at Miss Kay's, which always happened around her table, mm -hmm. which is a good thing. Yeah. That's and, where the uh, meetings go down at the oh, dining yeah. room table at the house. That's right. Okay. And, uh, Anywhere the food is. It, <laughs> it was in the spring. They said, you know, we're ready to go. And Phil said, we've talked about it and we'll do it. When do you want to start? And they said, we're ready to go now. Oh, my gosh. And Phil said, well, duck season don't start till November. Mm. They said, no, we ain't going to film y'all hunting. Phil said, yeah, that'll work. <laughs> <laughs> he said, don't worry about this. This will be one and done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then so, how many seasons did it go? 11 seasons, 131 episodes. Yeah. Wow. wow. Crazy. And you're, how many episodes are you on? Your one, <laughs> one episode. One. For you. Let's stop because 
He's already knocked the fact that I only have 2,000 followers on Instagram. Oh, I'm not giving Godwin any more material here. I can't swipe up, okay, Godwin? I'm sorry. Oh, um, they coming? <laughs> You just done one. You wait till about five. Yeah. You're going to hear your name in places you didn't think you were going to hear. <laughs> how real was the show, I guess? how re- It's reality know, TV, so say, how real is people it? People say it's scripted. It's scripted, but, I mean, do you actually think you could script Sai? No, no, I don't think Scott. I don't think Pretty you can. sure not. Do they direct you kind of like, okay, well, we kind of want to do this the today? Thing, or is they it just did like, it because of the interview. They said... We'd say, well, we'd get together and we'd say, this is what we're going to do. And they'd say, okay, we want you to be sure and, and say this right here. You know, so when we asked to inter, inter, a question, it's in there. They and interview so, before you do the show or after you film all the show parts? After. After? Okay. But they'd want us to at least, when we'd tell them what we was going to do, they, I, I tell you, these writers, they're incredible. Yeah. How they can used to say, okay, we're going to do this. And it's an hour later, and they say, okay, we'll make sure you say this one time. So we can do an interview and talk, you know, when they break uh-huh. it up. Right. So, uh-huh. I mean, it's pretty incredible. I never thought, I mean, there's 50 people behind us, in front of us, that people couldn't see. Uh-huh. There's people all over the place. I never watch a picture show the same again. Yeah. Because I can see, like, well, uh, I think it was Iron Man, that guy had that whip, quite that oh, yeah, electric yeah. whip. Yeah. Iron Man too. Iron Man He's too. holding a mic receiver in his hand as a prop for that whip. Okay. Uh-huh. But it's a, a what you clip on. Yeah. I just wonder how many people really recognize that as a mic receiver. Not, I, I probably no idea. would not. <laughs> it was a prop. Yeah. yeah. Huh. But if you look and so they do that sometimes purposely, or they'll say somebody's name. You know, just for funsies, you yeah. know, doing stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. When you That's filmed, awesome. was it like, okay, we're going to shoot eight episodes in one week or something like that? It was, that? It'd take a week to do an episode. One week an episode. And yeah. did they do them back to back? You had like the filming. And this is all while you're still working now too, right? Yeah. Or did it kind of change? It the would change anyway? where we'd it'd break up and everybody knew when to be where, you know, because mm-hmm. So we could go do this, and then we could go over there and and do what we was gonna do. Yeah, and then um, when you were in the duck call shop, like all all of you guys are making these duck calls. People started visiting now. The didn't the shop open up to like all the visitors are coming oh, to check it out and stuff. We didn't even we had you can't work that's while why that's happening. That right? episode came about the break room. Uh huh. Because we had to turn that break room into a store uh-huh. because there were so many people coming. <clears throat> they we would just come, come straight there to start buying calls and talking yeah. with y'all. And... Wanted to see us spend a night in the parking lot. And... Really? <laughs> wow. Camping out the parking lot. It'd take us 30 minutes to get in the door every morning. <laughs> Did you get sick I of mean, shaking that's... people's hands? No. That'd be Look, tough for me. Uh-uh. People ask me that all the time. You tired of taking pictures? I worked 21 years of shift work, huh. seven days of days, seven days of evenings, and seven graveyards. This is way better. Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. I'll take as many pictures you want to take. <laughs> so my grandfather just came, and he worked at the Bethlehem Steel for 35 years, and he worked swing shift. Yeah. And he's like, no, that was, you messed up when your hours aren't normal. Are you still yeah. working there now? Are you working normal hours at Duck, now? Duck yeah, Commander. Duck Commander. Yeah. It's Monday through Friday, um, nine to five. You're there. Yep. And celebrity hasn't changed you at all. Still take out the trash on <laughs> Wednesday morning. That's hard to believe not being around that. I know. But I went to. Uh, yeah. I go and I speak in, on the weekends, which that is one of the funnest things I think I've gotten out of the show is being able to travel. My wife gets to go with me, which is pretty awesome. Yeah. Though. We'll go. I'll say, you want to go to dinner in North Carolina? You know? <laughs> <laughs> we ain't taking the truck. We're going. I'm flying. We're flying. We're yeah. on the jet. Yeah. 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 So that's pretty neat that's to be awesome. able to do that. Mm-hmm. You know, it's kind of like we date when we first started. It first started like we dating yeah. all over again. It's oh yeah, cool. it's cool. That's awesome. It was awesome. But look, there is great people all across this country. I've been 
from the east side to the west side. And it's, there's great people all across this country. Mm. You, don't, you don't hear about it in the news. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's the problem. But this country, sure. it ain't going down. Mm-hmm. It's, a, it's some good people out there. That's good to hear. Mm. Yeah. What's your daughter? Do- you have one daughter? I have one daughter. She's 26. And she... She, she's off the payroll. She's off the payroll now. Yeah. She's off the insurance, college. right? 26 is the end of that, too. Yeah. Well, you know, we say off the payroll. But <laughs> it never happens. That ain't going to happen. Yeah, that's what everybody's telling me. Yeah. yeah. Cody has some adopted. Eight, how many adopted children do you have? You have one, right? One that we've adopted. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. Two biological girls. And then, uh, you know, we still foster. Yeah. So. He's, Man, foster would be rough. But we couldn't yes. ever have kids. So, you know, and that's what people say. They say, oh, that job done so good for the kids. What about us? We wouldn't have been family without it. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. It's true. Know? How about giving us some creed? <laughs> yeah. 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 So, what? it's pretty neat. You used to work ro- race motocross? You used to ride. Yeah, I rode motocross. Oh. Mama actually got me started doing that. Your mom? Because there was a guy. Yeah, there was a guy, a friend of mine down the road. He had one of them little uh, mini bikes with the lawnmower motors in it and the yeah. little bitty wheels, you that. know. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and I rode that all the time and finally talked daddy into uh, getting me a mini bike and um she said, you need to let him race because I'd, I'd be gone. I'd be working on it. Mm-hmm. And it was pretty good. What made you stop? Could you do it today? <sighs> would I do it today? Could you, would you get on a bike and go? On a motocross track? Yeah. I'd yeah. break and hang. <laughs> do you have a motorcycle? You see this <laughs> belly? <laughs> Could you ri- would you ride a motorcycle now? Is that, dr- yeah, did I'd, you have motorcycles? I'd ride one, but I was always little, you know, because I raced. I had a Pretty good respect on these street bikes, you know. I I don't know if I could. I mean, I wouldn't mind getting out there and going on the street, but man, I know what they'll do to you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then you got the other person you got to worry about too, and it ain't somebody trying to beat you. That's true. Get somebody watch or texting on the telephone. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. You're out. Okay. <sighs> Brian's had a motorcycle. Cody, you ever had a motorcycle? Ooh, I uh-huh. did. You did? You ride on the street? I had a motorcycle, too. Yeah, I was on the street. I had a cruiser. So I it really didn't bother it. you? It did. Uh, I, I kept a healthy anxiety the five years I had it, <laughs> and I did lay it over a couple of times, and that freaked me out a little bit more, and finally my my first daughter was on the way, and I sold it. So That's, yep. I haven't well, gone I back since then. Riding in the woods, man, they're pretty awesome, but I just ride them, you know. They're, yeah. It's fun. But. I was never allowed to take mine yeah. on the highway. That was our rule. That was. Uh, <laughs> ooh. I see these guys today, they're going down the road with no helmets on. And I'm like, I guess that, you know, you would never know what happened, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do, do What do you have? you have a cruiser or a crotch rocket? Cruiser. Cruiser. Yeah. What do you have? Uh, it's like 1100 Suzuki or whatever. Okay. I had it. I bought it like used in yeah. Hawaii. Did you? Oh, that's when you were living in Hawaii. Yeah. But I mean, it was like <clears throat> Hawaii. I mean, you don't have many options slow. out there, right? No. For cars? Mm-hmm. Yeah. If it's not on the island, you ain't getting it. Yeah. If I had one, it'd be a rocket. Rocket? I like to go fast. Mm. <laughs> I like to go fast, mama. <laughs> oh, yeah. Rick and Bobby. Tell us your. I got to drive a nice car. Ten laps at Texas Motor Speedway. That was the most awesome thing I ever done in my Sweet. life. How fast? 160. Oh That's my awesome. gosh. Were you you were in and control? You're the only one in the car. I was wanting to go fast. faster. <laughs> wow. And I could have went. The only way could have done. They're, it. they're so smooth. Well, I wasn't with 40 other guys beside me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, a little yeah, bit yeah, different, different sure. story. Yeah. yeah. But out there by yourself, well, there was six other people around me, but. Man, it was it was so smooth. It was just like really, yeah. It, I, it seems like it you'd was be... just like driving down the highway. Huh. It was it was awesome. The only time I knew I was going that fast is when I got close to the fence, right before I went into the turn. And it just you know, mm-hmm. and I'm like, oh boy, I'm, <laughs> like, I'm moving. <laughs> yeah. What what's some of the coolest stuff you got to do now that you have fame? <clears throat> I mean, I guess you got to ride on Dang. NASCAR. Some Got other cool things? Um, well, when we was filming, when uh, Martin's bachelor party and them guys come out there with them cannons. 
don't and, remember uh, it. it. They shot them cannons. They showed us oh, the big... how to do it correctly. Yeah. So each oh, each good. of us had it well, for safety. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But they shot. A, they didn't have a cannonball. They had a, a concrete, like a coffee can. Uh huh. And they'd made a mold out of that. Oh, That's yeah, what yeah, we yeah. shot. We uh, shot this thing out there. Oh, it was awesome. Did you but, keep and one? Shooting, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and shooting the old guns, you know. Yeah. Like the, the guy, uh, what's that? The Patriot? Uh -huh. Yeah, the Patriot, yeah. yeah. And, uh, and muzzle uh, loading muzzle black loading. powder, yeah. Yeah. rifles. Guns. Pistols. Yeah. Yeah. Now, look, there's way more to shooting them things because this had a flash pan. Right. So... Back then, you got that powder on that flash. It's got to be there. It's gonna burn. Right. This gun ain't cheap. Right. Yeah. It's got to be there. So if you do this, right, or you do this to to pick it up, uh, oh, you finna get shot. Yeah. Because yours ain't working. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. Uh, keep wow. a steady hand and keep it oh, level yeah. completely, oh, yeah. where the powder is coming out of the flash pan and the the flint won't strike it correctly. That was me. Hmm. That's awesome. I kind of like history. Yeah. <laughs> like in Scotland. We got to go to Scotland. That oh. was pretty cool. There ain't no pickup trucks over there. No. I seen four. I was over there for 14 days. I seen, no, it was four. Yeah, it's four. No 18 wheelers. They got them box trucks, you know. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Every, your vehicle goes dead at a red light. You give it gas and it takes off, you know. Are they, are they little, just teeny cars there? Just like yeah, they ain't easy. real big. And they got, in the hotels, you know, there's lights on where the elevators are, you know, the little square thing, mm -hmm. you know, corridor or whatever. But there's no lights on in the hall. So when you turn the corner and start down the hall, they turn on in front of you. And then they turn off when you go by. They just light <laughs> up in front of you. They energy, like a movie. Energy content. Yeah, thing. for okay. real. Okay. Okay. Wow. Huh. But they can't cook over no, they can't. They can't cook. Have you ever been invited over to somebody's house for a new Scottish dish? No. <laughs> There's a reason for that. Okay. <laughs> no. The best thing I had was Subway. Okay. Oh, wow. Uh, look, wow. If we could get a Waffle House over there, we would change. You love the Waffle House? We would I refuse to go. So country. you had the haggis and the sheep's stomach and all that stuff, or, or they, tra they tried to give it to you? I tried to. Okay. I would lose I a thinking, lot of weight going over I, there. I seen it from a distance. I said, Boudin. I went over and I looked and I said, no. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. <laughs> that ain't it. <laughs> so there is meat you won't eat. Blood. Blood. What do they call it? Blood pudding or oh, blood. Yeah. Yep, blood black, it's black pudding, maybe. Oh, it's it's made out of blood. And it looks like a something sausage, but it's you know got there's grass in it. You know, what? so you're like, I don't know about this. <laughs> <laughs> and we were What's way in the out, sausage, blood, grass, out, yeah. maybe some meat. <laughs> yeah. So where'd that come from? <laughs> <laughs> so we went, we was way out on a sheep ranch filming that episode. And these people would come walking by. I mean, just walking by. And there was a big hill over there, and you could see them. They'd stand up there, and then pretty soon, here they'd come. Like, just a bunch of people walk. Ain't no big boys over there. <laughs> they, did know. anybody know who you were over there? Yeah, they knew yeah. who you were. Oh, and, how about um, that? But I just was trying to figure out what the conversation was on Saturday. Like, what you doing Saturday morning? You want to go climb a mountain? <laughs> Yeah, no, I don't know. Just, <laughs> and it was on the other side of the road, too, Big Hill. And those people walking up that hill. They just. Huh. Well, so trying to get some blood sauce. The, street, yeah. the yeah. streets were real wide. They called it the Royal Mile. It was in Edinburgh. Okay. The streets were real wide. And I'm like, good night. Well, how's the street so wide? They said, well, back in them days, you know, in the 1500s, whatever. They had to turn them carriage, you know, the mm. the horses around and buggies. Uh. So that's why the streets were so wide. You just left them that, that way? Yes. Yeah. Uh. Well, the old, they had an old part and a new part. <laughs> and they was always working on the new part, but you didn't see no construction going on on that old part. Uh. Yeah. Of course, them walls, you know, made out of rock and stone, they're about, well, thick. Yeah. Mm. I don't know, 10, 12 foot thick, you know. Okay. You, ain't, you ain't tearing that up. Uh. <laughs> All right, tell us about your craziest fan moment. Craziest fan moment. All right. <laughs> All right. 
uh, this woman come up to me and she said, would you sign my foot? <laughs> I said, sign your foot. She said, yeah. I said, sure. <laughs> Put it up here. So she pulled it off and gave it to me. Oh, <laughs> I did not expect that. Okay. That actually makes a little bit more sense because it could be more permanent. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's That's Didn't right. give you any warning. Just popped it off her no. leg and handed it to you. Okay. Yeah. Did you drop it? No. Hey, hold on to it. Okay, no. good. good Did you sign it? Yeah. Joe and the I, Walrus. I said, <laughs> oh, dear. I said, this is pretty pretty unique right here. That's yeah. pretty unique. Yeah. Well. Of I signed some puppy dogs. A lot of people bring their dogs. They want you to sign your name <laughs> on their belly. <laughs> a couple of them come up and said, write your name. They do it on their arm. Like I said, we're getting a tattoo. Mm. I'm saying, is that surreal for okay. you? Like you want you want me? I, we're just my us. tattoo. Yeah, I mean it's crazy. Yeah. we went. We took my daughter and her friend on a senior trip to Disneyland, and we were walking around and they're in Florida, and uh, we heard somebody was hollering, "John, John." And I, and I never turned around. I mean, that's not me. I mean, I'm, you know, from Louisiana. I'm yeah. down here in Florida. Yeah. And then they hollered, Godwin. And I turned around and Paula looked at me and she said, I think our lives are about to change. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. And there's nowhere you can go now to where no one knows you. Is that positive, negative? Uh, Is it overwhelming? I you wish you can get away? It's just. No, I mean, no, they're mostly they're respectful, you know, but, uh, I mean, golly, man, like I said, I've worked 25, 21 years and yeah, so yeah, it's pretty, it, it's all right. Hmm. Well, it's, I think it's pretty awesome. I mean, yeah. I, I was pretty blessed to be able to do that. For sure. If they didn't watch it, we wouldn't have done it so long, yeah. you know, yeah. so. It's pretty, um, mm -hmm. they, they're pretty awesome. So. Well, we're glad you came by. Thanks for stopping by and yeah, thanks a lot. chatting with us. Thanks, yeah. man. You're a busy man. Got out of the hillbilly woods to come visit. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for chancing the Arkansas <laughs> hills. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm actually up here every year. It's pretty good. You know, yeah. Jeff Smith, and, uh, Trout Magnet, mm -hmm. W.E. hunting over there. Yep. Duck hunt with them and fish with them. So. Yeah. I'm in and out. For sure. Well, we appreciate you. Cool beans. Thanks for coming Thanks by. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Thanks, John. Thanks, y'all, for listening, and we'll see you next time. See you later.